Welcome to our final episode. Just to recap, uh, last time what I did uh, show you guys is to feed your BSF uh, neonites and bring them all the way to day 21, which is the life cycle of BSF. So before then, please subscribe to this channel and also to my channel, Protein Master BSF Nairobi. And as I take you through and show you how we get to the last of it all. So come with me and I show you how we do it. So after the 21 days, remember what I told you guys earlier, what you need to do, look at it. You need to look at your, at your feed. The moment you see they're dry, it's, it's dry. And uh, you can be able to tell now, like on this one, you can be able to see your pre pupae and uh, the Insta fives and a little bit of four and the pupa themselves. So from here is where again, you're able to sieve. Here we do another sieving again never get out of sieving so in this sieving we use the coffee tray the coffee tray what happens with the coffee tray the the pre pupae and the larvae themselves always remember they don't love uh they don't like light so what they do they'll burrow in and go under uh the sieve and what will be left on top with is the pupae which again you'll be able to collect and then start your cycle all over again so let me show you how we do it so this is how we do it. Remember I told you guys we're using coffee mesh. The size of the, of, of the mesh is uh, 5 mm. That's what we're using, 5 mm coffee mesh. So what happens here, they'll burrow, the larvae will go under, the pre pupae will go under. What will be left on top are the pupa. I always say pupae are like the old men. They don't move a lot, so they'll be left on top. And it will be easy for you guys to harvest instead of picking hand picking one by one this is the easiest way to do it so we just allow the larvae to go under and the pre-people to go under and will be left on top so the only thing you can do you can just do a gentle push just a gentle push just to quicken the process because again when you push so hard you may push the pupae under and you don't want that so just a gentle push just a gentle push and then that's it these are the results this is what you're seeing here so this is how it happens now you get your pupae on top so once we get them this way we just get them in a crate that way and these will be able to get them back in the love cage these are our pupae that we have harvested so what we get from here we get them back again to the love cage and then from the love cage again, we'll be able to uh, increase our colony in there and be able to continue propagation on that. Got on our pipe or, and get them back to the love cage. We are left now with what went under. Remember when we were saving the, the pipe, the larvae burrowed and, uh, and, and the pre pipe So once you get these, assuming these you are 100% harvest. So what we always say, Take your 70% uh, percent on the side, feed your animals, uh, and the rest, 30%, please, don't feed your animals everything. Get your 30% on the side, and then feed them again. Remember, we did the second feeding. Now, this will be the third feeding. The second feeding, we did 2 kg, but this again, third feeding, we'll not feed 2 kg, we'll, we'll feed 1 kg. Why 1 kg? Because there are a lot of pre pupae in here, and the pre pupae don't feed, don't eat. They are full already. So the only thing you'll be eating is the few larvae that will be in here. So that's why you do a kg. So from here, please, you'll continue again. The process will continue again. You do another sieving that way until you get to the other side. That's how we do it. And um, I encourage you guys also to do BSF other than other maggots. Uh, there are no pathogens on these, pathogens free. It's something good uh, when you're feeding uh, your animals with. So basically that's it. So I just want to share with you and show you guys uh, the byproducts of these. We always have uh, the dead flies. Remember, we always say, I know our slogan, we always say, turning waste to wealth. There is no waste that comes out of these. When the dead fly, when your flies die because of the cycle, the fly always, the, the lifespan of the fly is between seven days and 14 days maximum. So once it dies, you don't throw them away. You take them and you feed them to your chicken. The chickens love it because they're also rich in calcium. Uh, from these, 
we still have the, the fly shells here the shells again they are good again you can be able to crush them they are also rich in calcium, uh, calcium also you can crush them and also give them to uh, the chicks which would be also good the other byproduct we having here is the frass this is the compost one of the best when you're doing organic farming one of the best the finest this is it so from that also this is not a byproduct now this is what you can do be able to do uh to store when you're doing a lot of production like mass production you can be able to dry your your larvae so here we've got the dried larvae you can be able to dry your larvae and be able to store them and be able to use them again so once again we say thank you so much and uh please uh continue to watch the channel continue to subscribe on this channel and also on our channel project master business Nairobi. for any information there'll be contacts here you can be able to contact and reach out to us once again thank you and bye bye